Hi, I'm Stephanie Wren. I am a current third year medical student at the American University of Antigua College of Medicine. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, and I've been living on Staten Island for the past couple of years with my husband, who's also a medical student. So I'm currently in my internal medicine rotation here at Richmond University Medical Center. It's a 12-week program, and every week we are put into a different aspect of internal medicine. You typically show up around 9 a.m. and you stay till around 5. In the middle of that, we do have lectures that are extremely helpful and beneficial to us because we get to have that didactic part of the program as well as the clinical experience. The things that I get to do here and I get to experience here are actually the things that pop up on my questions. So being able to have that experience and being able to be in such a diverse area such as Staten Island, I mean, it's just been super helpful to be very, very prepared in what to expect. I am the first person in my family to go to college, let alone medical school, so I didn't really have the best guidance of how to apply or what to do. So my first job out of college was actually at my mom and his medical center in Brooklyn, and there was a physician there that I was working with in the emergency room who was an AUA grad, and he you know, told me all of the great things about AUA, so I did my own research, and I really, really loved that they looked at the person as holistically as possible. Test scores were required, but they weren't a part of the application process that in terms of determining whether or not you could act Actually become a student. They looked at you, they gave you the opportunity, they gave you a chance. And I truly appreciated that because when you are coming from somewhere that you don't have the best guidance or you don't have the best access to excess resources to help you get into these schools, you don't really know what you're doing. And then you have a school that's willing to give you an opportunity and give you a chance based off of your determination was really, really, I appreciated that so much. My advice to prospective medical students would just be not to give up. There's going to be a lot of doors that are going to be closed in your face and slammed in your face, and I've had them too before applying. But there are avenues to take. If you do decide that AUA is for you, make sure you prepare ahead of time. Speak with the students, speak with the graduates. Don't be afraid to ask any questions, and make sure that you're getting all of your questions answered so that you know what you're getting yourself into, you know what to expect, and prepare ahead of time.